Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I just wanted to give you guys a very brief news update for this week of January the 25th, because it has been confirmed that State of the Game is cancelled after they previously, you know, confirmed in the previous State of the Game, as well as I think on Twitter at some point that there would be a State of the Game this month in January, that's when it would return for this year, and that is no longer happening. The official tweet from Johan, who if you don't know is a I believe he's just a community developer for The Division. Uh, he put out a tweet saying, No state of the game tomorrow. TU 12.1 releases on February 2nd with the Resident Evil Apparel event, a rebalance of the optimization station cost, as well as the 4K 60fps support for next-gen consoles. So for me, at least, especially being a, you know, next-gen console player, this is going to be a very exciting mid-season update. I'm, of course, very hyped for the 60fps support mode, as well as the rebalancing of the optimization station costs. That's a certainly going to be very nice for, you know, every endgame player currently in the Division 2. He also noted that we will get patch notes for this update on Monday. So this coming Monday, the 1st, will, uh, will be when we get those for the update the following day. One thing I want to make very clear is I do not want anyone in this comments or in the comments of my video and hopefully anywhere else to come at the devs for this. They certainly, I, I, I just want to spell this out for people who don't understand. They were not in the loop for the Star Wars announcement. No one went to Massive, no one went to Hamish and Yannick and said, hey, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna just spill the beans about this whole Star Wars thing. You guys don't mind, right? They didn't, they, they didn't get that opportunity. So now these people are left with us, the community, being, you know, understandably upset because we are wondering if, you know, the future of our game is in jeopardy because of the Star Wars project existing. And now we're putting it on the devs when in fact they have no control over this. You know, that I, uh, someone put out a tweet tagging both me as well as, um, Hamish and some other devs about, uh, you know, saying that they really are disappointed that they're not addressing the topic. And what I told him and both Hamish and Bruce liked my comment, which is basically confirmation that I'm correct. I was saying that Massive has no say in their PR releases. Anytime they say anything on State of the Game regarding news or upcoming updates or anything like that, it all has to go through Ubisoft corporate. It has to go through their PR department and they have to get the okay from them to say anything. So to think that the devs could just, you know, launch up a State of the Game and tell us all about what Star Wars spells for the future division... That's simply not how it works. There's some sort of date internally that they have to wait for or something, the, you know, timeline that has to happen, events that have to occur. It is not in their control. So do not go in my comment section and do not, you know, hopefully go anywhere else and, you know, w wish them bad wishes because that's just that's just not the right way here. If they were to do a stay of the game and dodge the topic, you know, of Star Wars and of the future, people would be even more mad than they are right now. So I completely understand them not doing one, even though I'm disappointed, sure. I completely understand them not doing one. So yes, it sucks. But like I said, do not go and wish the devs any harm, as some have done in my comment sections previously. It's immature, and it's extremely offensive, and I will block you. So I just wanted to give a fair warning there, and I, you know... I'm sorry to have to say that, but it's something that some people do, and I think it's very sad. As for when Stay of the Game may return, I predict that we might see one on February 10th, which is the day after the Fei Lao mission drops, which, even though the season extends, you know, a few weeks beyond when the final mission drops for any of the seasons, I predict that that's kind of where, you know, internally it ends, because that's the last of the new content, really, that we're getting. And so I feel like after that day, after we see the full story of what that mission is going to provide, then we might get a stay of the game and start getting some idea of where we are headed in the future. I want to leave you all off on this. I understand that things seem gloomy. A lot of people have abandoned ship and jumped to the conclusion that the Division is done for after the Star Wars news. I did it myself. I'm 100% guilty of that. I don't want to give anyone false hope, so do not go around and say that Rogue Gold said this or that, because I'm not saying anything. What I am saying is keep your mind open, be patient, there may be some things happening in the background, and I think if you just give it some time, the devs will come forth, Ubisoft will come forth, and we might see something that we are pleased with. So I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another video before proximity coverage episode four this weekend. We will see. By the way, if you have not go seen it, you should uh, start watching some of my podcast episodes that I've started doing. I think they're a lot of fun and I think you guys might enjoy it too, but I'm not sure if I will do another video before then. I might do a build video. There's one that I've been, you know, toying around with uh, that I might want to do, but we'll see. We'll see about that. So until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And until next time, Rogue Gold, out.